Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today I'm on stream currently. I might be peeking in with some of their messages, uh, but I have an item, an item, <laughs> I have an idea about items in Pokemon Unite that I want to share with you. I'm going to be playing this game live, talking about the idea and talking about why I think it's a good idea and what it can accomplish. So currently in Pokemon Unite, we've actually gotten a lot of items. And, you know, that was actually one of the big things that I wanted them to do. It was one of the things that kind of took a little too long, probably for them to get around to. Um, but I think all in all, it was a pretty solid thing that they've done, right? Like I, I've taken a couple of breaks from Pokemon Unite, at least like fairly substantial breaks from Pokemon Unite. And when I came back, there was like all always items that I had to like relearn and figure out which ones were good or you know just kind of peek into the community to see which ones are good and that's a good that's a good thing right like there it gives you things to spend like your currency on it, it you know it changes up the meta a little bit um but the problem that I have is like the the way that item building works in Pokemon Unite is that there there's not uh, you know, it, it's pretty simple. There's not a ton of nuance in it, right? Like you kind of find the, the best items or you find the best items for like a Pokemon. And then that's what you use because that's what you get, right? You get to pick your three items at the start of the game. So I'm going to give a little bit of history here. In most traditional MOBAs, the way that item building works is very different. You have like an in-game currency. When you're last hitting and farming uh, minions, you're getting gold and all of this, like this whole different system of like how the game like works and plays out in regards to building item. And you also get those items over time um, as opposed to just starting with all the items that you want to have. You don't just start a game of another MOBA and like have everything. Holy, we are getting uh, stomped right now. That is unfortunate, dude. A couple of EVs, man. Make me make me real sad. Make me real sad. In any case, you don't get all of the items that you want in other MOBAs at the start of the game. So what's the idea? Well, I think that the, there's an important part of preserving what Pokemon Unite is where you're not just taking the other games that I'm talking about, the other MOBAs, and just making that game, right? Like, there's a lot to be said about keeping Unite unique and making it different and having it be its own game, right? So I don't want to just take a current... Like, I don't want to add a currency to Pokemon Unite and have, like, gold or have, like, you know, little gems or anything like that that you're building. I want to take the way that Unite item building is and kind of iterate on it and make a kind of new idea. So here's my idea. At the start of the game, you have the option to... Oh my goodness, I'm right on. I'm about to clown on you, bro. I'm a, hold on, I gotta clown on this floor real quick. Hey, yo. Back it up. Never mind. I had to flash away. Okay, at the start of the game, you have three item slots, right? Let's preserve that. Let's keep that in place. But what I would have is the ability to add two, maybe two or three more items under that in what I would call like an additional item slot. Now, this additional item slot would literally be three more items that you could place at the beginning of a match that you don't have in your active item slot. So your active item slot would be like just like it is now where you have items. Every time you go into a game, those are the items you have equipped and those are the items that you start with. So what are the additional items? for at the five minute mark so halfway through a game you would have um the additional items would kind of like pop up on your screen or I, I don't think they should pop up on your screen right at the five minute mark it would either have to pop up on your screen when you go back to like a pad or when you go back to base so that way it doesn't like impede gameplay and then you have the ability to select one additional item throughout the course of the game hey y'all um powerpuff girl wearing crazy bed hair editing crashy i like the idea best where the items pop up when you go back to base. Um, I thought about it uh, when you, when you so five minutes, you go back to base, you get the item prompt. Enjoy the video. Now, I did appreciate this comment from Chinu. He said, if any, uh, if it's any um, items, then you'd have to reduce the stats on almost all the mons because the damage output would be extra. So yes, it would be an additional item that we don't have in the game currently. So the stats would get a little bit higher. So what I would do is with these additional items, when you select it, it would just take like the base stats and probably nerf them by like about 50%. You're going to keep the full like 100% item effect. That's pretty strong. So like any of the base stats that are on any of the items, if they go down into the say like and this is just a rough draft idea we could definitely re refine this a little bit more for the sake of balance but if they go into the additional item slot and you do decide to use them then the base stats are going to be um you know somewhat reduced what in the hell is this please leave me alone you're cringe and i don't like it 
Um, so yeah, this, now let me tell you why I like this idea and why, and first of all, it's never going to happen. So it's just an idea, but let me tell you why I like this idea and why I think it could be good for the game. It, it accomplishes a few things. Um, this idea brings the game into a bit more of a higher skill ceiling. It like makes the game a little bit more higher skill ceiling because you have to make a choice, right? And this choice is going to be a choice that's made with a few things in mind. Like, what do you need? Like, what is, what's, what is affecting you this game? What do you think could actively make your game better? Um, do you want to go with more damage? Do you have an, like a focus? Say you say a lot of attackers would slot a focus ban in their additional item slot because they want to make sure that they do have a defensive item. So it gives you the option to kind of like really pick and choose. Like, what do you need this game that would be really and truly beneficial uh, to the way that your game is going? Now, nextly, um, what, um, what kind of knowledge do you have about the game? You know, are you able to counter build the enemy people? Like, yeah, yeah, sure you could just build more damage and that could be fine but as a tank maybe you throw your assault vest in there right maybe you throw your rocky helm in there assuming your rocky helm's ever very good right and in any case i think it, it kind of steepens the ability to express yourself and the skill and the knowledge that you have in the game the next thing that it does and probably one of the most important is that it, it actively would make the meta of the items a little bit more broad so it's the same thing with draft right in draft holy that is super balanced in draft you are reducing the same amount of items that everybody could or the same amount of pokemon that everybody could use everybody's just going to use the same thing without it and so with draft you're steepening and you're making the pool of pokemon that are usable and actually viable much larger so i think it would do the same thing with items right because if you have these additional items that could potentially be used in your game then it would open up the ability Ability to potentially see them in matches so that's kind of my, my more or less my idea i think that it would be um it would have to be implemented in the right way i think again balancing it is probably something that would need a little bit of iteration or a little bit more deeper thought than just the concept uh, but the concept of the idea is like hey there's a lot of really cool items there's definitely more cool items that they could make in the game i would love to see them at it so I'm going to finish out this game. I think if I read any other comments from the stream chat or if I come up any, with any other thoughts, we'll definitely uh, talk about the idea. Um, but yeah, I, I want to I want to see the game kind of become more of like the Pokemon Unite that I know that it can be, which is always kind of the game that I'm advocating for, which is like that really like competitive MOBA with still having that simplicity that uh, we kind of know and love um, from the game. So right now I'm about to die and that's unfortunate because I have a tree that's really angry and running at my face and running at my forehead. Haha, <laughs> TTV, TTV this, TTV this, the bud. Yeah, TTV this, bud. Everybody go give Roshi08 a follow if he streams. If he doesn't have a VOD in the last two weeks, don't follow him. All right, let's see. But if you can change in the middle, then you can't say, oh, um, they are low. I didn't see them having and be in the beginning of the game. So I'm just going to secure the kill. It becomes a guessing game. It kind of makes it more stressful. Hmm. Focus ban in the beginning of the game. Well, so, okay, so I think I think the concern that you're having with the idea is that it's like a guessing game on what your enemies would have. Um, I'm going to speak from that position because I think that I, I have a, a good talking point for that concern. Unfortunately, it does take the game evolving even further. So I think that there should always be a way to see people's items when you press the start button right here. I think that it's one of the things that Pokemon Unite is lacking a lot. There's literally enough room on these bars that you could just put their items and it would give the players an information about what to expect from the way that the game is going to be played. So that's always one of the things about Pokemon Unite I wasn't a huge fan of to begin with is that there's just not enough information to know what items are actually out there and what are actually being used. So I would love to see that first and foremost. I think that could be a really fun idea and a fun way to, to add a little bit more depth in terms of of, of uh like counter building and counter play in general where you actually just like know how the game should be playing out all right let's see if we can go rip an objective because i think that we should right on is down we have the delphox i've got my unite we don't have the we don't have the delphox unite which i'm not a huge fan of oh, nice and that's how it's done bro that's how it's done son that's how it's done son Ooh. Nice. So there you have it. That's the only comment I can get to with the allotted amount of time as doing this live. Um, let me read one more. If they put items on the leaderboard, they should also add cooldown stacks of the ability to focus. But yeah, I think I think additional information for the players is always great. Friends, drop a like on the video and subscribe for future Pokemon Unite content. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below about this idea. Again, taking the casual, easy, simple version of Unite, pushing it a little bit further. Also, while they're at it, solo do a queue for ranked. And uh, yeah. 
higher than 50% win rate. Win rate matters. As always, be sure to be kind to one another, tell someone you love them, and I'll see you in the next video.